now I'm in 4K and I made this water level sensing circuit. So this is my blue LED, this is my red LED, this is my buzzer, and this is my power supply. So let's try it. When the water reaches the first level, the blue LED turns on. When the water reaches the second level, the red LED turns on. And when the water reaches the third level, the buzzer turns on. So now let's discuss the science behind it. So first, I'll tell you what is a circuit. A circuit is a path for electricity to flow through. So in every circuit, we have to use a power source or a battery. So we so we need um, so we need a power source uh, for uh, for the electricity to flow. So uh, if uh, so if a circuit is open, then it would be incomplete and and uh, nothing would work because the electricity wouldn't be able to flow. So uh, in my circuit, I used one battery, two resistors, two LEDs, and one buzzer. So uh, there are uh, three paths in my circuit one for each component and all those paths are open are open at the end so uh, each uh, each um, each side of the component is connected with voltage so voltage uh, so like uh, one side of the component one side of each component is connected to voltage right here and and ground and the ground of the battery is at the bottom of this cup right here and the ground of the other components are on the on the side here level level wise so so as we know water is a conductor a conductor is a material that allows electricity to flow through it so so when we pour water to, till the first level the ground of the battery and the ground of the blue LED becomes connected. So, uh, so this circuit is complete. The circuit for the blue LED is complete. So the blue LED turns on. And same, and same when we pour till the second and third level, the these two circuits also become complete and they turn on. So that's how it works. Thank you.